It all started on the 18th March 2020 when all mass gatherings were banned. I slept that night and I was like, what am I going to do? For me, I just thought the 21 days we are going to get over and then it was a very difficult situation. And how about then and now? The case is still the same. Some outside businesses which were also affected. So most of us musicians also have bars, you know, as additional income generating uh, business for us. Now the, 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 the artists are now trying to be diverted into other projects. So they are no longer looking at their primary goals of sensitization. Due to their power to employ a metaphor, songs become objects through which impossibilities of daily discourses can be turned into hope. You keep good music around you, you stay healthy. <laughs> you keep good music around you, you stay educated. You keep good music around you, you stay informed. Comforting people, counseling people, they, 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 those are our responsibility. Because the, 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 the police officer cannot do that. Kaibe, the king, you keep some distance. Although virtual concerts and shows have been encouraged, this has also suffered several setbacks. One gigabyte of MB uh, of, of, of internet in this country cost about 9,000 shillings. It's not the case in Tanzania, not the case in Rwanda, not the case in Kenya. Monica Ruth Achan is a content creator and a writer who has been building people's mental strength during the 42-day lockdown via Zoom. You know with COVID you don't get people to embrace you. So you need somebody to talk to you. That is one of the things I've learned. Then uh, I've also learned to appreciate the availability of, 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 of internet because you get to relate with people who are far away. In each and every way, each and every way. While it is too soon to have studied the impact of Uganda's coronavirus songs, HIV AIDS has shown that the use of pop music not only creates awareness and sensitization of masses, but also provides psychosocial support to the affected people. Music would have been utilized more. Because personally, I, I, am, uh, I have won several awards for northern region, high people, local awards from here and what, but I, I haven't really been asked or contacted to do a song on COVID. Even those that I have done, I, I haven't been paid, not even to say, let us refund the money you used to record this song. It is not my first time to do something for Uganda. In 2012, I did a song for Uganda at 50. I never receive even a word from any leader, from anybody responsible, just to say thank you for what you've done for our country. However, the RCC for Lira Lawrence Igole says government cares, a reason it included artists among vulnerable groups and is also sponsoring UG Connect. And I'm glad to say that uh, uh, on uh, last Saturday's performance, it was uh, our very own here, Blood Moon, was uh, was doing it very brilliantly on uh, on NBS and we appreciate so these are part of the things because it is also sponsored by the government music has been around for a very long time and in a period like this music is not only nice music is important it consoles us music gives us hope i'm Ed Ulua, reporting for UBC News